Good morning, Yonkers Voice. Good morning, audience. Good morning, people from all over the, the state, the city, the county, and the world. Today, our guest is Mr. Marcus Knights. Mr. Knights, I'm, I could introduce you. I could give you that huge resume or bio so people could know who you are and what makes Marcus Marcus. They also, also call you the kindness guru, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're with pride. Please tell us a little bit about you so people can know who are you as the person. Okay. Well, I'm a CEO and founder of uh, an organization, a charity organization called Hand Up, Pay For It. Uh, Huff is what people call it. Um, I had to define it for the uh, newspaper and for, I just, I guess, media people kept saying Huff. And basically what it is, is ordinary people doing extraordinary things. It's a triple threat of character. You can have several talents and be a triple threat um, on, the, on the field or in music entertainment, but to be a tri triple threat of character uh, sets it above. Uh, I'm also a, a, a chaplain, um, youth minister, musician, and um, basically I, I just want to offer the gifts and talents that have been bestowed upon me back to the community and everyone around me to try to make a difference. Now, Marcus, the kindness guru, mm -hmm. tell me how important it is to be kind. Okay. We shouldn't be kind just when uh, we want to get something back later. We should be kind because that's the right thing to do. So right. tell us a little bit about kindness. Elaborate on that. Well, it's a, it's a small word, but it has an, a tremendous impact um, psychologically, physically, mentally, emotionally. By being kind, both the giver and the receiver, the recipient, both can benefit immensely. Um, an example, it, emotionally and mentally. Right now we're in a trying time. We're, we're, in, we're in the darkness. And between suicide, between the deaths from COVID, between those that are remaining to have to deal and continue to live, um, we're searching for anything just to find hope. And to receive even just a kind word or a kind gesture can change the person's life, could extend it when they were trying to end it. And I, I'll give you an example. Uh, I have something called a, an AOK -okay card. AOK -okay stands for Act of Kindness. When I, once, once a, at least once a week, when I go into a fast food or I go in to get a coffee, I will give an extra five or ten dollars to the cashier along with a card. My card says, gotcha. Um, and if the next person comes behind me and they place their order and it's already paid for, here, take this card. It says, gotcha. You've just been blessed with a random act of kindness and you are charged to pay this forward. Now one of those cards were tracked through hashtag for three months. 52 acts of kindness from one card. You know, Marcus, I tell people all the time, brag about it. Mm -hmm. Brag about it. Because, you know, sometimes people criticize uh, A, B, or C person Oh, you bragging about the things that you do? I said, no, I'm not trying to brag. I'm trying to be contagious of love. There you go. Okay, I'm trying to pass it on. I'm trying to motivate you. Perhaps if I go out there and help one person, but if you join me, now we might be able to help two. Okay, and if we can motivate somebody else, right. we're able to help three. Right. So I guess your principle, it's basically the same. Pass it on. Absolutely. Pass it forward. Absolutely. Pay it forward. Um, when I came here, three, three weeks after I came from Minnesota to New York, there's a building called the Twin Tower. It fell on my car. I was here during the 9-11 attacks. Um, I'm a veteran uh, from the Navy. I've been in the, the, the Army, National Guard. I was an intelligence specialist at the time. I was there. I watched the plane go in, and I watched people jump out of the building I, I did search and rescue, and because people ask me, why is it that you were so intense about life? It's because I saw people die. I went in with two officers to, to, to have people come out, and we all made it out, but they both died of cancer, and I'm the only survivor, and they're 10 years younger than me. I owe them. I owe their families. I owe my community. 
to do something, to make a difference with his life. Otherwise, why was I spared? So yes, um, small acts can mean a lot, but you just have to do something. And we can. Everybody can do something. But you know, Marcus, I guess that at times the worst situation brings out the best mm -hmm. within us. Yes, it, 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 that works in, in both ways. It'll bring out the best and the worst. Just like victory or just like success, you give somebody a lottery and it'll bring out the best or the worst in them. Whatever's truly inside of you will come out, will manifest itself, will magnify itself. That's when we'll know who are you really. What I meant was in the worst situations, okay. it will bring out the best of us. Gotcha. In good situations, right. yes, you know, you get a whole bunch of money, you forget about half a world. Right. Most of the time, not always. Okay. But when it's bad situation, like uh, the Twin Towers came down, it brought the best of many. Yes. COVID-19, it brought, brought out the best of many. Mm. We show kindness. We were ready to help. We were ready to, to help the, our next brother that was in times of needs. Mm. So very often, I think, my opinion, mm -hmm. is that worst situations that affects community, not a personal you know, individual, mm -hmm. brings out the best of us. Well, I'd like to think so. Uh, during that time, I remember coming out um, doing search and rescue for the first time. I was covered in soot. And there were people walking next to me. We were all squinting, could barely see. But you couldn't tell the color of a person. They were gray. We were covered with ash. That was the first and only time in my life that I felt equality. I felt it didn't matter the color of my skin. For that moment only was I equal. You know, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point. At that moment, we couldn't see color of our skin. We were one kind, the human kind, and we helped anyone that came across. We did not know if they were white, black, yellow, pink, or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was a human being. Right. That's how we should see people. That's how we should. But uh, as you know, three months later, it started to wear off and we began to go back to our normalcy, which is to not care. Such is life. But you know, such is life. But I guess it shows that deep inside we do care and we do love each other. But when things are normal, we forgot certain principles. Right. But deep inside the love is there. I just wish it wouldn't take so much <laughs> such harsh circumstances to bring the best out of us. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Guys, take this as a piece of advice. Let's be nice, let's be kind, and let's join the guru, the kindness guru. Let's be nice like we are when tragedy hits. Mm -hmm. But let's do it without tragedy actually hits. Let's just be kind, open heart, and always try to help the next person next right. to us. How about this? How about this? How about act as if tomorrow's not promised? How about act as if tragedy could come tomorrow and live today as if it were? Tragedy will come tomorrow. So let's pretend it's already here and let's do it as we wish or as we do when tragedy hits. Let's be nice all the time and help the next person. But now, Marcus, mm. tell me about the Huff program. Okay. Well, uh, there's a few facets of it. Um, we've been working with Unitas NYC uh, since the COVID. Uh, we've been a part of uh, different feeding programs that's fed about a quarter of a million people in the last year. Um, I had momentary stint doing body disposal, um, which I would, would never forget. And um, I've just been trying to be proactive, active and proactive. This is just during the, the COVID time. But AOK -okay is what is, seems to be what rears his head about uh, HEPF, the acts of kindness. We've been able to do acts of kindness in, in cities and states working with mayors and governors and we, we did something here uh it's called a <clears throat> excuse me it's called an honors event we honored uh 12 teachers from 12 different schools 
We had firefighters and police officers. We had um, clergy, um, veterans, even just community members that were outstanding. Again, ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And we had it actually at the Neverhand Community Center where uh, Senator Cousins uh, gave honors, the mayor, and the mayor uh, did a proclamation declaration for HBF, which is May 11th. Our, it's actually on our calendar. You guys are about to celebrate HBF Day uh, and didn't know it. But um, it's just really e evolving into something amazing. We're working with the Board of Education. Um, we're actually taking the ALK program into schools. So imagine this. You have, you have a, a school with 50 classrooms and we go into the school and we have the classrooms compete against each other in kindness. So each class is then whichever class, whichever the top five classes does the most acts of kindness gets a pizza party. Can you imagine these little rugrats running around trying to do kindness acts at home, at school, at church, and then telling them to, to who can do the most and the best kindness. Teachers have desks full of fruit and cards and each other and fighting over, did you do, did you get, my kindness is better than your, what a, oh my God, sitting at home with parents, that what kindness could we do? Can you imagine inner city kids looking forward to be kind and being rewarded for it? That's amazing. You know, that's, that's, a beautiful thing. Maybe we should do more competition on kindness competition. Absolutely. But let's go out there in the community and be kind. Okay. Implement kindness into your child's mind from the early age when the personality are forming. Mm. So teach them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Teach them how to be kind so they can grow up with that in mind and then transfer that to their own kids. That's right. So let's be kind. Let's have a competition of kindness. Instead of just competing on high scores on football, which is good, nothing wrong, but then let's do one on kindness. Right. What have you done for your community lately? And let's do okay. inner be the one that did the most for their own community. Right. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about that? Well, <clears throat> it's funny you should say that because right now we have um, schools like within the school district, talking about in, in, in the 2021-22 school year competing against each other. So you have just say 20 schools. 20 schools competing and tallying up how many acts of kindness each school does, and then the top three schools will get a party of some kind outside in their uh, parking lot or on their playground and so forth, uh, uh, hamburgers and hot dogs and, and bouncy houses or wh whatever the case may be, but they'll give something special and be recognized so they can carry the bragging rights of saying our school is the king of kindness for our community. Let me throw this out there to those kids that go into schools right here in Yonkers. Let's do a bragging rights thing. Let's do kindness in the city that we live in and then come on Yonkers voice and tell us, what did you do to make your community better? And hopefully that bragging rights will help other kids to do equal as you or even better. Mm -hmm. Struggling for the best. Let's show that young, because it's a great city, we have great kids, we have a great education system with strong morals and principles. Let's do that. You have a challenge. Let us know what you have done, what your school has done, and come here, and instead of having Marcos Knights across from me, we have you to tell us what did you do. And we can say that that was motivated by the kindness guru. Awesome, awesome. Um, I'll, I'll say this, that <clears throat> I'm, I'm looking for opportunity to exalt those that are humble those that don't exalt themselves. And that's the way it's supposed to be. But we need to support one another. There's so much negativity that's out there. Uh, the airwaves, television, it sells. Sex and violence is, is, is still the kings of the viewers. But kindness needs to be in there. And we need it like an antidote. And I believe that um, it, it will release some of the pressure before 
or that's surmounting right now that I just don't want to see explode. So I, I, I hope you do take that challenge. I do. Um, and, and we do have some celebrities that are finally coming around. So oh, yeah? we have some NBA players and uh, some actors and, and even uh, some uh, singers, entertainers. Uh, they're going to do acts of kindness going back to their hometowns and hopefully influence and say thank you to some people that are well, well deserved. And um, it's infectious. I believe it will infiltrate each city and each community and change things. You know, uh, the other day I was uh, speaking with uh, an investor by the name of Lila Gorin, mm -hmm. who is investing in Yonkers, okay? And uh, hopefully through her investment is going to create a lot of jobs. And I invited her to come into Yonkers Voice to talk about her, the mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lila, that is one thing that is more, and more, more important than the millions of dollars that I hope you make. Because if you make it, that means Yonkers is going to make it. That means we're going to have jobs. But in my opinion, that is one thing that's more important than how many millions you make a year. Mm -hmm. If you're able to change a young girl or a young man's perspective, and one day she says, I became who I am because of Lila Green Gorin, that's a great thing. It is. Okay? And it I is. think it goes in line with what you're saying. <clears throat> if you are able to change a young person's mm -hmm. perspective, a person that was on the wrong path, and all of a sudden he spoke with you, and you said, you know, Marcos, you made sense. Mm -hmm. I am going to change my life around. I'm going to be the second generation of the kindness guru. Awesome. Wouldn't that be a satisfaction to you? Amen. Amen. That's, your lineage is everything. What do you leave behind? What's your history? Um, I have children. Um, they think I have an S on my chest. But it's, it's the things that I see that come from me, that I see a part of them and their foundation that gives me the encouragement uh, to keep that S on my chest and to keep trying and keep uh, pursuing uh, the next level because they're watching. They're definitely watching, okay? And maybe this interview will be watched for generations to come. When that young man that you change his mind goes to his son and says, come here, son, let me show you what changed my life. Right, right. That was the interview. And you and I will be an old man, maybe I'm not around anymore, but it doesn't matter. We change somebody's life. Yes, yes. Well, this is unscripted. This is unscripted. Totally. So I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm giving you the AOK -okay challenge. I'm asking you to plan with me to do an act of kindness. I'm going to record it. I'm going to interview you. We're going to flip this, and we're going to talk about the act of kindness. And when you do that, you're required to challenge someone else so that it, it, the life cycle continues. So maybe this lady that you mentioned, we can challenge her to do an act of kindness and we both can cover that and, and really see, because a person of influence like that could really, really change the course of people's lives, direction. And um, yeah, so I put that challenge out there. What do you say? Lila Goran, you've been challenged. <laughs> Smoothly, but you've been challenged. And I know that you are a good person. I have spoken to you many times. But I'm a strong believer of actions, not words. Amen. That's what counts at the end of the day. That's right. It's what you did that actually makes a difference, not what you said you were going to do. Right, right. That counts nothing in my book. Right. I'm with you. And I'll even go further. For me, I'm harder on me. It doesn't even matter what I've done. What are you doing? What I've done is history. I want to know what you're doing now. Well, I was going to tell you about the few good things that I did. Okay. But I'm not. Okay. <laughs> because what I've done yes. makes no difference. What I'm going to do from this point on, right. it's what really matters. I'm with you. Okay. I'm so you. we challenge you, any one of you guys, it's not even a challenge. It's kindness. Mm -hmm. It's love. Let's show love by our actions. Reach out to... A, to uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus Knight. Marcus, how can they reach out to you? Um, they, can, they can call me. Uh, we can put the number up. 
right? Put yes, yes. Up. Okay, uh, they can actually call my manager, who's Bob Stoff, and um, uh, arrange. I go, I go to churches. I'm, I'm a motivational speaker, inspirational speaker. I'm a certified life coach, and I've also created a program which of kindness, empathy, and uh, uh, cultural differences uh, and tolerance. And I think this is something that we've, we've heard now from the White House that's needed for our country. Well, I've been doing it actually for, for months uh, with, a, with, a, with a Fortune 100 company in the world called Unilever. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Unilever is, if you go into a Walgreens or, or a CVS and you look around, about 80% of everything that's in there, they own. They've partnered with us. And we did, a, we did a random act of kindness activation within that company and we were getting a report of 5,000 people each week that received the challenge. So if one of my cards in three months reached 52 people, there are thousands all over the world who are passing this forward. So to believe that the negativity reigns supreme right now in this time where there's a casting of a shadow over us, it's a lie. It's deceptive. Good will conquer over and it is winning. It's just the people that are negative have bigger mouths. You said something very profound, Marcus. People with negativity have a big amount. That's a challenge that I've been having. Mm -hmm. You know, we cover lots of things that happens on the street of Yonkers. We don't make the news, we report the news. We share that news one time. Thousands and thousands of members of Yonkers Voice go wild sharing that bad news. I challenge you to share this good news. Yes. This is the stuff you should be sharing. This is the stuff that's going to make our community better by motivating people on a positive. Bad stuff comes just like this. Everybody knows it. We don't need any more sharing on the bad. We put it out so you know what's happening on the streets of your community. But this is the interviews that we would appreciate you share and you spread motivation pieces that will help others join and get involved and make our city be a better city. Let's promote the positive, not the negative. And again, just on this segment, since we talk about sharing the positive, I also want to make it clear to you that if you are involved in positive work in Yonkers, if you are an artist, a writer, any type of, of artist with a positive message, please contact Yonkers Voice, yv at yonkersvoice.com. We might not be able to help you immediately because we have lots of things that are going on, but we will definitely make an effort to bring you in so you can talk to the other people, can expose the good stuff that you do, and motivate others to do the same. Now, Marcus, is there anything, I know that you have an extended military background. Yes, sir. You are involved in lots of good <clears throat> stuff. You know, when, when we do a, a dynamic and organic interview, a lot of the questions that sometimes I had intentions to ask, I forget, because okay. the conversation goes back and forth, is fluently. So, uh, is there anything that you'd like to bring up that the people should know? Yes, actually, uh, first of all, I, I just want to uh, thank my manager Bob Stoff and um, who is a, a part of the Salvation Army. I want to thank the Salvation Army which, which is hosting this interview and have partnered with HEPF. Um, I just, you know, there, there's so much going on and uh, strategic partnerships mean everything. There's, there's no way to do everything without a good team. And then we have the makings of an amazing team, the YMCA, YWCA, uh, we're, we're speaking with uh, the Rotary Association as well, but uh, I just want to ramble real quick about the, the projects that are coming up. Right here at the Salvation Army on the 29th of May, we have Unity and Community Group where we, we've invited, there's 60 plus uh, different registered religious groups in Yonkers. We've invited them all to send one of your leaders to come here on that day, the 29th between 10 a.m. and 12 noon, and we're going to talk about the issues that face our city, the, our, our state, right now our country, um, from the Asian hate crimes to 
Uh, I'm getting reports about the uh, uh, transgender uh, hate crimes as well, uh, the issues with the aftermath of the pandemic, mental, uh, schools, um, there's just so much that we, we need to talk about and we want to take that time quarterly to meet together here, put aside our differences and move forward. And we're going to take those findings to our mayor, to our senator, to our governor. We're going to take those to our city council. Um, on that same day, we also have a video shoot. I've, I've been fortunate. I've worked with Prince, the artist Prince. I've worked um, on behalf of Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson and, and quite a few major artists. So I'm in it to the industry as well. So I wrote and produced a, a song. Uh, one of the many that I've done, I've, I, I do songs for causes, Big Brother, Big Sister, Suicide Crisis Center, those kind of things. But this is called the AOK song, Active Kindness song. I did it just as a, as a tribute to what, what we do. And it caught on so much that we have several cities of kids that are participating. We have um, police officers from different cities that are participating. We've asked all the city council from Yonkers to come. We've asked the mayor to come. Uh, we've got signed uh, artists, uh, hip-hop artists who are going to be appearing, um, the gifted program kids from Bronx. I mean, there's just so much happening with that. And now, uh, again, giving thanks once again to another mentor of mine, which is Dr. Jim Bostic for the Nepahan Community Center. He's also the, he was also the um, uh, advisor to DMX. And so what we've done since his death as well is we've, we're going to dedicate this to DMX as well and his family. So that's also on the 29th of, of May, which is coming up. It's from uh, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. And you can find out where that's going to be. We'll, we'll post that. Um, we, we're just blessed right now to, to just have so much going on. If any school or church is looking to raise money, we're working with six different solar companies who will help them uh, potentially get solar on their homes or on their churches and so forth. And what they'll do is they're required to donate $1,000 to, to either a school or a church, if you name them, if you go through this program. So imagine 20 people from a church that I, I, I think I want solar. That's $20,000 to their church. Or school, mm -hmm. um, so that's 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 something that we're working on. There's just again, uh, I'm being used as a vessel right now, and I'm just so excited to to just be here today. That I, I don't know. I, I appreciate you for giving me this opportunity. A vessel full of positive merchandise. That's right. Okay. Nothing but positive. Now, picking up on what you just said, what's happening here on the 28th or 29th of May? A lot of artists is coming down here with positive messages mm -hmm. that might change mindsets because in my view the problem is mindsets right we need to change that mindset mm -hmm. for the positive it's thinking thinking okay we need <laughs> to move forward and we need to have that uncomfortable conversation you know lots of people talk about things that they want the audience to hear they say things that I, I, I think you want to hear in order to please you. Sometimes to move forward, we also have to talk about those things that the audience does not want to hear in the hopes of them realizing what really is going on and being able to change. Right. Okay? If you and I think in the same way and I keep enforcing your way of thinking, even though, or, or vice versa, mm -hmm. even though that might be wrong, we will never change that mindset because we're reinforcing the wrong. Right. So we need to talk about the reality of life, I think, Marcus, in order to, to change the outcome of life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. Well, I, <clears throat> again, I agree with you. Um, that's, that's why we're trying to deal with real issues in real lives. Um, I'll mention this last project that we're doing because it's, it, it really fits into what you're saying. We're working on a program called Cops and Kids. We're planning to take a group of kids, 30 kids, inner city kids, to camp for the first time um, July 9, 10, 11. 
and the East Anderson kids have never been out of the city, most of them. We're going with off-duty police officers. Uh, one of my partners is, uh, is out of uh, New Rochelle. Um, Officer Johnson, he is the founder um, of a Better Way organization. And we're taking these kids, we're gonna, there's gonna be canoeing and kayaking and, and swimming and fishing and batting cages and uh, laser tag, it's just gonna have a ball. But there's also a representative from Unilever who's gonna be there to teach them job skills and job readiness, to teach them to work on their resumes. And what we're working on to conclude that is to give them clothing, because they don't even have dress clothes, they don't have presentable clothes for interviewing. But we're gonna bring these, we're gonna bring a few uh, vendors, we're gonna bring a few business owners out there to hire them on the spot. So this is coming up July 9th and 11th, and, and I would employ, if anybody, if anyone can relate to any of these kids, I would ask you to, to sponsor a kid to go through this program, to go through the weekend. It'll change their lives, because they don't even have, they don't have the funds to be in the programs. They are their sponsors. Now, Marcus, have you contacted our Young's Police Department? They have an Explorer program yes. that actually helps, motivates, instills positiveness between community and police department. Have you contacted them? Maybe it's something that they would love to be involved. I don't speak on behalf of right, the police, right. but I'm saying it might be a program that our police department might be interested right. in. Right. Well, <clears throat> the Yonkers Police Department knows me well. We work together on many projects. Um, uh, when the shootings happen in, in Connecticut and Florida, um, the police department, the fire department, the mayor's office actually sent me to Florida where I spoke at the memorial for the Douglas School. Uh, when you saw people leaving the classrooms, I was actually the guest speaker there. The police actually took me to the hospital for every victim and I got to pray with the families. Um, just recently, uh, Unilever, by the way, has this program called STEM, uh, S-T-E-M, and they, it's, it's uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. They gave 200 uh, scholarship, but they're, they're, the scholarships are just for a certification, a certificate program, but they sponsored 200 seats. And I, I was able to take 100 of those seats and give them to kids within New York. But I gave, we gave over 20 of them here with the Board of Education. Two of them, the police department got, where they actually appointed those um, to people as well. And I was, I would charge you as well to say, I would love for you to, to have a couple of those seats. And as you... Another challenge? Yes. No, this one, this one's not, this one's, this one's a gift. Okay. This is a gift from me to you, to you, to, to a young person who you see is a diamond in the rough. If you see that person with opportunity, you take one of these two seats and you will sponsor them into this program with Unilever so they can have one-on-one -on -one interaction with this multi-billion dollar company with executives firsthand that have potential to come back and get schol college scholarships, paid internships, but the goal for Unilever is this. They want to hire them, but the starting salary for, for a kid who graduated in one of the STEM programs starts at 80000 a year. I take it. <laughs> we, we don't need to negotiate any further. I take it because, because it will be a pleasure. Right to send two kids that watch Yonka's voice, or maybe their parents, okay? We take that offer. You'll change their lives. You'll change their lineage That's all forever. I'm saying. Changing, changing their lineage, changing their future. It's more important than any investment that you might make in Yonkers. Right. Because when you make an investment, most of the time, all you get back is financial rewards. Mm -hmm. But when you change a mind's, a person's life, the rewards are immense. Immense. Now, before we go further, I have to give a shout out to uh, a local business. Uh, it's hashtag 1980 Legacy or Denon Boutique, located on Warburton Avenue. Great products, great clothing. Guys, support our local business. Mm, yes. Go there, buy, go on Instagram, check them out, check the stuff that they have and support our local business. 
many of us talk about uh, you know things you know these these and that but nothing changes unless we put actions to our words support local business please we have to conclude yes sir sooner or later marcus yes, it sir. was a good conversation likewise okay we sh we can do this more often yes okay when you yes. have a message when you have something that you want to tell the community right call me sometimes we might not may be able to make it happen right away right. but we will make it happen okay and you guys that are watching it the same invitation goes to you if you have a positive message that has the potential to change the community and make it better reach out to us let's be contagious of love contagious of positiveness and let's drop the negativity don't share my negative stuff share things like this is what changes the world. This is what changes the community. This is what makes us better. This is it. Cha you know, share this story. Thank you for watching. I'm going to give Marcus Knight the last word. Mr. Knight, Marcus, yes. please do the closing. I just want to thank Yonkers for welcoming me. I came from the Bronx and before that from uh, Minnesota. But I, I live here now. This is my home and my community. This is where my kids are. And I need them to see the best in you. Um, I would ask, you know, uh, I give. Um, and I, I would ask if there's anybody out there who has a, a contact with, with someone who, who has uh, a truck or a vehicle that, that I could get at a, at a low cost, I would appreciate it because I serve the community. I drop off hundreds of pounds of food, uh, volunteers. Uh, I transport kids. And my, my vehicle actually, it, it died on me. So uh, right now I rent a vehicle to go give and serve. So I, I know I need this. So I just want to begin to at, at least acknowledge that, that, you know, sometimes we all need help. But I'll say to you that um, I'm here. This is my home. And you are my community. I implore you, reach out to me. If you have a positive mindset, if you want to be about something that's positive, I'm the guy to come to. God bless you. Yonkers Voice has a very large audience, very, very large audience. We reach everyone in Westchester County and outside New York State. Mm -hmm. But this is where we call home. And many of those people have a used car dealerships, right. new car dealerships. If you want to donate a new car, <laughs> Would you have a problem with that? I really wouldn't, but you know what? It wouldn't be to me. It would be to the To kids. help the community. Absolutely. If you want to donate a used car, there is no problem with it, that, with that as well. And that donation will not be for Mr. Knights. It will be for the community. Help him help the community. Yes. Until next time, stay tuned on Yonkers Voice. And don't forget, guys, this Friday, Thursday, I'm sorry, this Thursday, Yonkers Voice will be at the U.S. Capitol doing a live stream from there. Watch it. It's going to be great. We're going to be walking on the floor and interviewing the congressman. So stay tuned for that. Thank you, and until next time. Well, it's the other hand because I have this one. Here. Right. God bless you guys. Thank you, God and God bless you guys.